contracts and involving PSG. I don't know if you guys saw this in an interview with our very own Gemma Soler. Uh, Neymar said this after the match, quote, it was surreal that part of the crowd left the stands. They're going to get tired of whistling because I have another three years left on my contract. Uh, Jules, you love Neymar. What's your reaction to that quote with your PSG ways? <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I'm happy to whistle. And if he plays better, I stop <laughs> whistling. I mean, it, what is he expecting? This is, this is, what, this is fans' culture for you. Your t he's your star player, or one of your star players. He doesn't play well. And what, people are going to clap and congratulate him when he doesn't play well? It doesn't work like this, Neymar. This is not, this is not what happens. You don't deliver, you don't play well, the fans are not going to like it. So they're going to boo. This is what, in any other club, it would be the same. So un unless he gets back to playing better, be more decisive, scoring more goals, more assists, anything you want, I think, I think there will always be an issue there. Because right now, he's too far away from the level that he should be at, at that club, for the fans to be happy. That's where the problem is. Bravo, what about you? What do you make of what Neymar says? It sounds kind of like he's challenging the fans, doesn't it? Uh, it sounds as though he is, and I agree with Jules. You know, you, if you don't play well enough, and over the years, Neymar sometimes hasn't played well enough. He's done, he hasn't been effective enough. He's got all the talent to go and be an effective football that scores goals, great chances, and every time he gets the ball, looks threatening. But he wants to do so many other things, and he wants to try and do what he wants to do. And I think he lets himself down at times. And that's why fans get annoyed. And that's why even fans of other clubs just get annoyed with him by watching him. Mm. So uh, he can expect some stick at times. If I needed somebody to give Neymar some love on this show, I feel like you'd be <laughs> the person I would oh. go to. Oh, is, is, that, is that right? Yeah. Well, uh, I'm not sure where I start with this one. Uh, listen, I, I think Neymar's comments are even more than, than just a challenger to those fans. I, I, I think... It, it is a, it's a slap in the face of, of the PSG fans in, in, in many respects because the fans are booing because they don't feel he has lived up to expectation, that he has lived up to what he, he's earning salary-wise or what they expect from, from this team, uh, from, from the PSG team, which he was brought in as the first piece of this, of this project and, and he was the face of, of, of everything that PSG was supposed to be becoming. And nothing has worked out. And rather than appreciate or take some responsibility around that failure, your response is, well, never mind me and what I'm doing. Never mind that I'm, I, I'm not living up to, to, to that expectation. I'm here for three years. Mm. So it, 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 it doesn't matter what, what you think. And, and, and this, again, goes into to, to my kind of... Why, why I find Neymar as, as frustrating as I do, I, I just do not feel at any point he recognizes his responsibilities to the team or his responsibilities to his own God-given talent. It's as though we are all supposed to be thankful that he's here, regardless of, of what his performances look like. I'm sure it'll work out between him and Antonio Conte. Oh, that'll, that'll be, yeah, that'll, that'll, be, that'll, be uh, that'll be fun. No, that's a romance <laughs> novel, right? Yes, that's romance, uh, that'll be man. smooth, uh, no doubt. So listen, we, we blame Neymar, we blame the manager. What about Leonardo? Because Jules, he had a, a very kind of cryptic but interesting quote here. With me, it is difficult. Without me, <laughs> it is impossible. It sounds like he's saying uh, PSG would be worse off without him. Do you agree? Yeah. No, definitely not. And I think he knows his head is on the line here. Uh, he's part of the problem too. I mean, I think a lot of us, being PSG sporting narrator, could have signed Messi, could have signed Donnarumma. I mean, they, when you have so much money and when you know football, it's, it's not very difficult to go and get those talents. The biggest job as a sporting director right now is to be able to also sell players and don't get it wrong with the lesser names which Leonardo has been catastrophic at. So, of course, he's under pressure. And when he's under pressure, because he's such a good talker for that, he deserves a lot of credit, then he starts mm. having those sort of punchlines. Oh, you want to get rid of me? OK, but I tell you what, without me, it's impossible. The very Zlatan ibrahimovic -esque Leonardo, uh, by the way, who, who knows Ibra and who's, who's bought him in a few different clubs. So it's, it's remarkable. He might, he might survive. To be fair to him, because he's that good of a talker, but I also think that right now there's a lot of people around, within the club, around the club, who are also looking at other options as sporting directors because, because he hasn't been good enough. With me, it is difficult. Without me, it is impossible. That's actually on my ESPN business card. 
Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.